This was so gross. Good morning, everyone. It's Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness. Okay, in this video, we're doing a much requested workout. This is another power hour. Love the power hours. They are great bang for your buck. Hey, and I said it's gonna be fat burning. That's exactly what this routine is gonna do for you because not only are we doing resistance training, which as you build muscle, burns more fat even when you rest, but we're also hitting some cardio in there as well. So it's a great combination of both aerobic and even anaerobic at times. We're gonna really push it in that minute uh, and resistance training. So you're building and sculpting those muscles. All right, here's your format. So basically you're doing one minute of upper body, one minute of lower body, a minute of cardio, and a minute of abs. So what a great combination. Basically I'm gonna give you 15 seconds to transition in between. I'm gonna go for the full circuit, okay? The full four exercises in one round, which basically will be 12 minutes, then I'll take a break. Please feel free to take a break if you need one before that. You can just pause the video and break anytime you need. Also, new tank tops, woohoo, see? Fun. I got a bunch of different colors. They're gonna go on sale next week. When that happens, I'll be sure to put the link in the description below. So check back in a week or so and those will be on sale. I would love you to have one because it reminds you just to move daily. That's my little adage. If nothing else, move daily. I hope that you do that. And hey, this hat reminds you to do the same thing. See, winning. Okay, while you're down there, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure that you hit that like button, make sure that you subscribe, and don't forget to ring the little bell because that reminds you that I put out workouts every Monday and Wednesday. See that switch? Used to be Wednesday and Saturday, but no, Monday and Wednesday, so you don't wanna miss any of these workouts. All right, without further ado, grab your dumbbells and get started. Okay, so you know exactly which dumbbells to grab. Each circuit is gonna have a preview, so I'll show you all the exercises and you can have your dumbbells ready to go. All right, let's start with the first circuit. I'm gonna take you on a quick warm up here just to get things nice and warm. Let's take it into a wide plie and up and over the head right here. Get some blood flowing. Oh, actually, my legs are super sore. I did some stairs the other day. Hey, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure that you do because over there I have a nice little IGTV um, channel. Okay, what does that mean? You don't know? Well, go check it out. You can follow me at Move Daily Fitness. IGTV basically is now they've instituted kind of like long form video as we have over here on YouTube. But I've done a bunch of little exercise videos there. So each one is 10 different exercises of a different part. So I did, the other day I did a 10 exercises you can do on the stairs. If you have a set of stairs in your house or out in your neighborhood. All right, let's take it to some squats right here. And uh, what else? I have 10 ab exercises, 10 glute exercises, 10 best cardio exercises, 10 best leg exercises. So there's a whole um, array of fitness videos over there as well. So check that out when we have time. All right, a few more here in three, two, and let's go into some arm circles. Right, just big stretch back. Stick your chest out. Whoo, I'm out of breath already. What, how? We're just starting. <laughs> All right, switch direction here. It's talking and exercising at the same time it can be a little tricky. Speaking of which, there are a few little tricky moves in this workout here today. All right, let's go into the really small circles right here. Um, you know, some of them are like patting the head, rubbing the stomach at the same time. That's sort of difficult. But again, there'll be a preview of everything so you can just take a quick look, switch directions here, and that should help you figure out what's coming up and what weight to grab. And of course, everything is for three rounds, so you don't get around one, you'll get it in the following rounds. All right, let's go wide again. Take it down, stretch it up. That's it. It's warm today, and it's not even that early. It's 10.30 when I'm doing this. I regret not doing it at seven when I had the chance, but I was tired. 
All right, last three, two, and one. Good. Side to side right here. Good. We normally don't sleep with the dog in the bed, like on the bed, not in the bed. We have this chihuahua. But somehow in the last like number of months, we've taken to just thinking it's cute that he sleeps under his little blanket. Three, two, and one on our bed. The problem is, this morning I didn't have to wake up. Uh, let's do big circles again right here. I didn't have to wake up early because I didn't have a 6 a.m. client and I wanted to sleep in, but he wanted to wake up early. He, his body clock is like, no, this is the time I get up. So it was very frustrating. So I kind of laid in bed for a while just trying to fall back to sleep but couldn't really, and you know, you're sort of in that dreamland and in and out, but you don't really get into REM again. All right, little circles right here. Anyway, you don't care. Needless to say, I was a little tired. Three, two, and time. All right, I'm warm, I'm boiling actually. <laughs> Let's start with our first circuit. Okay, one minute on the clock. We're starting with that push-up. Modify from your knees right here, right? Then pop up and do your Spider-Man crunch that way. Otherwise, from the toes, let's do this. Now, if you wanted to modify this with a chest press because you have bad shoulders, that's totally fine. I know the push-up's not the easiest exercise. Um, so feel free to grab some dumbbells, flip it over and chest press instead. It's really hard to talk and do this at the same time. Pendulum swing is coming up. Really crunch that. Oblique here. And make sure you're not going past 90 degree, degrees on the elbow. Last one. Ugh. Whoa, that's hard. Okay, pendulum swing. I'm holding a dumbbell in my hand. One leg is stationary. When I lunge forward, it's opposite hand. Then I switch hands and reverse lunge. 20 seconds aside here. Let's start. I'll tell you when to switch legs. Woo! I've got a 15 pound in my hand right now. That is a hearty start. Probably should have gone later. Oh, sorry, not 22 seconds. 30 seconds aside. We're a minute. Of course. All right, switch legs. Other leg is stationary. Reverse. Front. Switching. Push through the heel. Right back up. Whoa, okay, that was work. Remember, everything is a minute. Makes it more difficult, might wanna go later. Okay, burpee, jumping jack. Three, two, let's go. This is a good cardio one. Wow, I've started us off with quite the bang here. Oh well, we're in it now. Woo. 
Good, halfway. Princess stood up, it's coming up. For abs. Last one. Whoa. Okay. This is hard already. Princess stood up. One leg is up. You're coming all the way up to that leg. All the way down. I'll call it halfway. Ready? And up. This does not have to be fast. Controlled and slower is more difficult anyway. This is where you're slightly bringing that heart rate down. All right, switch legs. Here we go. All the way up. Arms are above the head. Stick your chest out at the top, right there. Good, almost there, last 10 seconds. Pull it up. Moving back to push-ups with that Spider-Man crunch. All right, whew. Quick sip of water if you need. I'm moving right into it. Break if you want. Okay, round two. Ready? From the knees or toes, here we go. This is what the knees looks like. Quite a bit easier. If you need to pace yourself, hey, we've got a full hour to go, so make sure you do. Holding this plank position for the push-ups is a lot of ab work too. Good, last 15 seconds, come on. Bum is down when you pull that Spider-Man crunch forward. Okay, it was hard. Pendulum swing. Gonna stick with the 15. It was challenging, but it was good. Okay, front lunge, reverse lunge, one leg is stationary. Switch that weight in the front. Stay really tall for this. Woo. Switch the stationary legs. Walk it up to modify. 
Good, 20 seconds. Just a few more. Last one right here. Woo! Oh, Hannah. That's tricky. Okay. Princess, sit up. Catch your breath. Very hard. In three, two, one. Here we go. Up. One more round of this. It's only four minutes of work. This is probably the only exercise in this whole circuit that I actually love. <laughs> ah. Why do I write such things? Right? I ask myself. Switch sides, here we go. Ah, that's good for us. That's why. Well, last 15 seconds here. All right, five more seconds, come on. All right, and rest. Okay, one more round, starting with those push-ups. What is it? Okay. You can do this. I'm going for my knees. You go for your knees and your toes, whatever you like. Nice neutral neck on this one. Don't be looking at your knees or anything, okay? Just look at the floor in front of you. Even from your knees, this is work, isn't it? Halfway through. Fifteen seconds, come on. Woo! It's feeling good. Definitely with the three rounds, one minute each, you get fatigue on the muscles. That was the name of the game. That's why this is such good fat burning. Ugh. Okay, pendulum. One stationary leg, the front and back switch. Get ready. In three, two, reverse. And front. 30 seconds aside. Push straight up. Okay. Keep it nice and shallow so that you're not having to stretch that leg too much. Okay? Like don't make a huge stride behind you. Do it so that your knee is 90 degrees. Switch legs. I touch the ground with my knee. You go as far as you can, comfortably. Almost there. Last 10 seconds. This is hard at the 15. Good, that was enough work for me, for sure. Herpes Jack, as in Herpes Jack. Herpes? Buffy. What'd that be? In three, two, let's go. Legs feel shaky. Oh, 
Okay, last seven seconds. One more right here. Let's go. Oh, that's hard. Okay, catch your breath. Down for that princess sit up. Last exercise, then a break. It's been a long 12 minutes, I'll tell you. Ready? Here we go. And up. Feel free to crunch on this if you're experiencing pain in your back. One more on this side. Switch legs. Halfway. Please go your pace. If you want to slow down or catch a breather, you can do that. This is hard. All right, that's it. Good, catch a good breather. Bring the heart rate down. Watch the preview of the second circuit. Here's your preview of the next four exercises. You're starting with that narrow to wide row. I'm gonna attempt the 15s round one. I know I'm gonna die, but then I can just stand up and stretch it out. We're narrow row, wide row. Ready, hinge, here we go. Take it wide here. So my back is staying completely straight and flat. Let me just turn sideways for that view. Okay, not bobbing at all. Here I'm using middle rhomboids. Here I'm using a little bit of rear delt. Pull that weight up, okay? The rear delt one is much more difficult for me than the rhomboid row. But that's just because it's a way smaller muscle. Starting to fatigue already and we're halfway through. I'm gonna stand, stretch it out, oh, and hinge again. Here we go. In and out squats are coming up, no weight. But you could hold a dumbbell if you like. Feel free. Or a little barbell on your shoulders works as well. Pull it all the way up. We're really starting to fatigue now. In three, two, and time. That was hard. I might go eights next round. That was hard for me, but we'll see. It's a good challenge. All right, in and out squats. Stay narrow, go low, wide, low, wide. Here we go. Sorry, narrow, wide. Narrow, wide. Okay, you're not coming out of this squat. We're gonna burn those glutes out a bit. And burn it shall. Woo hoo, baby. It's hard. I might have to break from this one too. That lactic acid just comes in, doesn't it? You're halfway through. Alternating toe tap jumps next. Now, if you have a medicine ball, you could do it on that. If you don't have a ledge or a ball or something to tap on, low bench, feel free to just do high knees, okay? And you can modify that too by walking that out. This is hard for a minute. Four, three, two, time. Tell ya. Okay, I have to go right into this, don't I? But then we have abs and that'll bring it down. In three, two, here we go. Halfway. 
15 seconds. Oh, that was so gross. I got 131. Can I do that again? I don't know. Okay, plank hip drop. If you need more rest, take it. Here we go. Nice neutral neck on here. If this hurts your neck or back, feel free just to hold a regular plank. Okay. Hands or elbows is fine. Or modify from the knees right here. Okay, that's an option. Seconds left. Kill it on the shoulders. Oh man, that's work. Last four seconds. Good. Oh, round two. Let's do that row. I'm dropping a little bit lighter my weight. You feel free to do what works for you. Here we go. Hinge, row, narrow, wide, squeeze. If you're a little lighter, you can pick up your pace slightly or keep it slow and controlled and really pause at the top. Pause, okay? That's how you make it progressively harder if you have lighter weights. Slow your pace down or alternately, Knock these out nice and quick. There's so many ways, you know? Ooh, that burns too much. <laughs> I'm gonna go slow. Good, halfway. I'm doing a little stretch here for my back. Back into it. I'm trying to bring my heart rate down here before I use my legs. Nice, slow, deep, regular breathing. Helps that. Good, almost there, last 10 seconds. And time. Woo! Okay. In and out squats. Narrow wide. I like the metal straws. And as you know, well, here in Canada, so many places are going strawless now. No more straws. So they'll offer the paper ones, which last about 15 minutes in your drink, so you gotta kinda drink it fast. Or um, cl cleanable ones, like glass or metal. And the only thing with metal straws, I chipped my tooth a couple years ago on one. So now I'm like, ah, uh, <laughs> really careful. I can't just mindlessly like, Jam it in my mouth. Get low. But I think they're great. I'll link some in my description below. Um, some like that you have some bent ones too that are kind of cool. And they come with a little cleaner. So you can put your little cleaner in there and get all the goo out. I just typically just clean them as soon as I'm done using them. Time. Especially if you have like a smoothie or a protein shake that you're drinking. Ooh, we have this one. Center. Let's do it in three, two, here we go. Up, up. I can't talk very well on this one. This is two anaerobic for me. Stay tall. Halfway. Okay. 
Eight seconds. Uh, oh, that is so hard. I like it. Bring that heart rate down. Get ready for that plank hip drop. Or rest longer if you need to. Here we go. Really slow exhale if you can. That's helping me bring it down. See, one thing I like about these tops is that they're not tight around the gut, right? Look how loose that is. I mean, sure, it makes me look like I have a huge stomach, but I'm not feeling constricted. And I like that. Ugh. This is killer on my shoulders. Keep going. Five seconds. Uh, woo. Okay, round two done. Last round of this guy. Four minutes of work, in essence. Can do it. Oh, we're up. Here we go. I'm like, what am I doing? I got it, don't worry. Okay, neutral neck. Pull and up. Squeeze those shoulder blades right there. Think about squeezing your scapula together, those shoulder blades, okay? That's how you want to retract it that low down. Don't be shrugging here. You're gonna hit your traps if you do that. Okay, pull back and squeeze. Oh, 20 seconds left, actually. Ten seconds now. I'm not even gonna take a break this time. Three, two, and time. Oh, that was good. All right, in and out. Whew. Good shoulder burn, good back burn. Ready, and narrow, narrow, wide, narrow, wide. That's it. Holy, too good everyone. This is hard. So big center of gravity music festival this weekend. All my kids are going to. And my oldest and youngest, he's 21, she's 16. We're texting back and forth. I'm pretty sure she's asking him to boot for her, which I can know nothing about. And, but he said to her, if anything happens, if you need me at all, just text me, I'll be there. My friends and I will be there in a second. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that for you too. You know, six years apart, they weren't very close growing up because she was always the pesty younger sister. He was always like the babysitter, bossy pants. But now that she's older, they're starting to get along so well. That makes my heart happy. Of course, the middle child, almost 19 this weekend, he's neutral. He likes everyone. Okay, toe touches. Let's do it, last one here. 10, I'm gonna count the whole way. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, halfway, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 
40. Oh gosh, 144. That was gross. Holy, what'd you get? Would love to know in the comments below. If you beat me there, plank hip drop for the win. Here we go. Slow. Almost there. No, you're not, you're halfway there. <laughs> ah, I was going to my happy place. Apparently, I went too quickly. 15 seconds, then a break. Break, grab some water, let the heart rate come down, take what you need, and join me back for that third circuit. Phew! There's a sneak peek at the third circuit. Knees are soft, out to the side, bring it together, and down. Now, this could be one of those little pat your head, rub your stomach at the same time exercises. Just follow along, out to the side. That's the iron cross part is where you hold it. I was asking my husband Quentin this morning how he did this, and he, was, he did it a little bit differently. Um, but he said right at this point here, this is where you want to flex your lats, leaning back slightly, bring it together, and down. So all the way up, Open up those lats, squeeze and down. When you think about your lats spreading right there, and then bring it forward, woo! I feel that right in my lats. It's excellent. Good tip, babe. <laughs> up. Ooh, I just swung on that up. Try not to do that. Okay, do as I say, not as I do. Up. Fives were plenty for me for a full minute. Holy, I hope you didn't go heavier. <laughs> Out and together. Good. All right, moving into that glute hip thrust. Now you saw me do it either on a surface, couch, chair, padded couch, uh, or the floor, either is fine. I'm gonna do round one without weight, but feel free to put a dumbbell on your hips if you want. Here we go. I'm just gonna focus on the squeeze, and the fact that the cardio round is a jumping lunge with an oblique twist makes me go, yeah, probably not gonna use a weight on this for myself because I'm gonna die on that one minute of jumping lunges. Even when I just did the, the preview, um, premier, premier, preview, I, was, I did four, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be hard. I'll be taking a break, so I don't mind if you do as well. Squeeze at the top. Yeah, and I just did stairs the other day, as I said, so I'm feeling my glutes already. Just squeezing the, the glute med, or the glute maximus there. I feel it, it is hard. Woo! Dip and squeeze. All right, 10 more seconds here. I'm supporting my head with my hands. I don't want my neck to be on the bench, okay? You might see people doing that, but uh, Brett Contreras, who's known as the glute guy, I've linked him below in my other glute workouts. Um, he says not to do that. You don't want to compromise the neck. Jumping lunge, oblique twist. Okay, arms up to the side. Whichever way you jump, leg back, that's the way you turn. So you're here, together, here, and up, low. Now, modify by not jumping, just reverse lunge, okay? Add that twist though. Low, here, low. My legs stay facing forward, right? it's just my torso twisting. You don't want to torque on that knee. Good. 
V-sit, alternating leg out. Up next. Oh, brutal. It's gonna take me days to recover from this workout, I tell ya. Three, two, uh, I would recommend an upper body only workout tomorrow. <laughs> okay. All right, in that V-sit position. Here we go. And extend, extend, out. Adding just a little oblique crunch there. Now, this hurts your back. Feel free to support with your hands there, okay? Alternately, feet are on the floor, right there. Keep those elbows up, good halfway. Oh, a oh, little stretch for me. Keep going if you can. Back to that iron cross next. Oh, five seconds. Three, two, time. Okay. I'm sticking with my fives for that iron cross. Um, when I did the lat spread, it was good. That was hard enough for me. Ready? Here we go. Here, here. Um, yeah, so I was talking to Quentin the other day, my husband, and I said, I feel like I kinda wanna do a video with you, like interview you. He's been working out for 30, let's see, 35 years maybe. That's a long time to commit to working out. And I, I wanted him to share a story about how he got into working out because it's really, I think, impactful and meaningful because I see a ton of people who start a workout program but they don't stick with it, right? So what is it, what's the story that helps people stick with working out for the rest of their lives? It's gotta be something profound, that's for sure. Can't just be, ah, uh, I don't mind working out. I think I should probably do it, but I don't really see any benefit. Like it can't be that. It's gotta be something profound and I would love to hear your stories in the comment below. But uh, I am gonna interview him because I think it's it's fantastic, his story, and I'd like you guys to hear it. Okay, what's coming up next is the glute thrusts. I knew that. Whew. All right, again, no wait for me. Feel free to add. Squeeze. My, own, my son, as well, has a really great story of how he came. I'll tell you this in this next minute if I can get it in. So he was very tiny growing up. He's 21 now, and he's like a machine. If I remember, I'll post a picture of him right here, but he um, was super small up until grade 10, like a little, he was the smallest guy on the football team. He actually quit because he was just getting pummeled. And then for that year and a half, he didn't do any activity. And we're like, oh, you got exercise, bud. So he took a weights class at school, and in, within six months, he saw change. And that built his self-efficacy, that built his belief that change could happen. And of course, then he saw his father, who's huge, because he's been working out for 35 years, and he just dedicated himself and something clicked. And now he lives 21, like steroid-free, never used anything like that, but works out six days a week, very religiously, very diligent, and has changed his body. He's only like 5'10", so he's not super tall, but he walked into a room with authority because of his size now. And that was helpful for him. Ready? Here we go. When you, uh, when you feel insecure about yourself based on what you look like, and then you have the, the dedication and the wherewithal to change it, it can change you know, your whole outlook on yourself, your whole demeanor, how you present yourself in a room. And it did that for him. But it's interesting, you know, like our, our demons never really leave us, do they? Uh, he's still 
you know, has those insecurities as I have mine, as Quentin has his. And it's not like you can just mask those things by changing your body. You gotta deal with that other internal stuff too. And, you know, that's, that's part of the journey of all of us that we have to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Wow, look at me just getting deep during jumping lunges. I can't talk anymore. I can't breathe. Oh, I actually passed it by quite quickly, didn't it? Done. Whew, okay, V-sit. Three, two, here we go. back in 2010 that was the hardest pose for me to get was that lat spread and I finally got it actually in a Lululemon change room of all places because they had a three-way mirror and as I was able to kind of observe my back and I was lifting up a shirt over my head and that's how I got it and then I put it pull, put it pull, pulled it down and uh, then I saw myself do the spread I'm like oh my gosh I got it I don't even care. Oh, back to the glute thrust. But it's about engaging those lats and that's key. Here we go and drop press. So arms gonna go to the side. You wanna make this more difficult without weight? Feel free to just single leg though. We did those in our band workout the other day. That was brutal. I'm just gonna focus on the squeeze again. Even a slight pause at the top. Just like that, up. a good break before having to do those jumping lunges so I'm happy to take it. 30 seconds. Up. That's it. Almost there. Can't believe we're halfway through the summer already. That's nuts. Did I tell you I'm going to Phoenix, Arizona for summer vacation? <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be fun and hot. But uh, that's coming up next week, well, August 10th to the 17th, I guess. So that should be fun. I'm gonna actually take my camera, see if we can do a workout there if I'm not dying of heat. All right, jumping lunge, torso twist or oblique twist. Ready, and here we go. Low, together, low. Keep the elbows up so you can get that torso twist in. Elbows go back, up. Again, move into a stationary or a reverse lunge, no jump, if need be. Twist. 
20 seconds left, come on. Low, up. Try to jump at the same time. Up and low. Good, eight seconds. Oh, I'm glad this is the last one. All right, time. Holy Hannah. That's, that's tough. Last V-sit, then a break, then our little half circuit. Okay, ready in three, two, here we go. Leg is out, drive it back in. Using that whole ab wall up here. Definitely not low cardio, is it? Heart rate's just up there. Okay, a little break if you need. Keep going if you can. Oh, oh 10 seconds, come on! I'm dying. I hope you are too. Well, not literally, please don't literally die. Three, two, ugh. Okay, take a good break. Here's our last preview and our last circuit. Here's a preview of our last circuit. The last one's a dead butt. I'll show you with the ball, and if you don't have a ball, I'll show you without. I'm getting that, like, Crusty the Clown hair where you don't want to go anywhere afterwards. Oh my goodness. All right, let's start with that pull complex. Hinging at the waist, you're rowing, your hammer curl, and then upright row. Here we go. So you row, hammer, Upright. All right, this is again one of those pat your head or up your stomach. It's tricky. You know what? I gave this to a client the other day. She couldn't get it. I'm like, you know what? Do the three moves. I don't care what order you do them in. Just do it. She was getting mixed up with the hammer and the row. So, you palms face, palms face, palms turn. Think of that, okay? Palms face, palms face, palms turn. Good, halfway through, row. Hammer, upright. Get that elbow up and then upright. Okay, mine tends to lag a little bit. I have to concentrate on lifting the elbows higher than my wrists, right here. Boom, that's it. All right, 15 seconds. Then we've got a goblet squat, side kick, coming up. Three, two, time. Normally I'd use a 15. I'm feeling blasted already though. I guess we've been working out for about 47 minutes. So there's a reason for feeling blasted, but feel free to go what weight you want. Goblet squat, side kick. Let's go and out. So I want to stand upright on my kick. Okay, I don't want to lean sideways like that. Stand tall, push through the heels. You're almost standing all the way up before you extend that leg out. Halfway through. Definitely feel this in the butt. I think from sitting on the floor there at that V sit. 15 seconds. Oh man, that's a long time, isn't it? This is a challenge threshold for me. I prefer the 30 or 45. Probably 45 I prefer. All right, time. And we've been doing that a lot lately, so it's kind of what my body's used to. This is work. Okay. Uh, high knee, high knee. 
too many jumps. Ready? And here we go. Knee, knee, little one, little one. Go, go, little, little. Okay, I'll show you the modification in here. Here, here, squat, squat, here, here, squat. Okay? You do what you can do. Boom, boom. I'm not really coming straight up. I'm kind of hinged forward at the waist a bit. In that little bit of a squat position. Keeping tension on my glutes. Over half. Boom, boom. Dead bug coming up. All right, Ugh. brutal. Okay, dead butt with the ball or without, whatever you have. I didn't tell you needed one, but I'll put it in the description. All right, ready? Here we go. Opposite. I'm gonna do this controlled and slow. I'm not going for speed here. Make it more difficult. Don't touch the ground with your foot. I'm thinking of pushing the small of my back into the ground as well, okay? When you extend that leg, it's easy to arch. Push your back into the ground. Whew, makes it harder, doesn't it, when you think about pressing that foot down, or back down. Good, you're halfway. Definitely work. How you doing? Sticking with me, we're almost done. Going into round two. Literally eight minutes of work left, guys. Oh, we got this. I like this one. Okay. <sighs> Let that set. Let's go back to our pull complex. Now you've been upside down. Please take a second if you feel dizzy. Grab your weights. Here we go. Let's go to the second. All right. Elbows high. If you have low blood pressure, oftentimes you get very dizzy sitting up. Are you guys like that? I've had low blood pressure, low iron for my whole life. So up and down just makes me go whoo. Sometimes I gotta take a second before I recalibrate. And then not to mention going into this uh, aerobic area that we're doing. Takes a lot of energy out of you. All right, last 15 seconds. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Squeeze your biceps. Flex those shoulders. Okay, it's a full pull complex. Almost there in four, three, two, Done, good. All right, moving to that goblet squat, side kick. Ugh, definitely showering my hair today. Okay, in three, two, let's go low and out. I'm gonna kick that ball. Now, this, if you're feeling this in your hips too much, feel free to kick back. Target a little bit more glutes, okay? Whatever feels good for you. Try to get down as low as you can on that goblet, okay? I know I'm fatigued too, it's hard to get super low. Well, everyone, last 15 seconds now. Then move to that cardio. Two baby squats, two high knees. Three, two, and time. Okay, that's my hardest one on here. I don't know why. I just don't love it. Okay. Can't love everything. 
everything, girl. Ready. Here we go. One, two, up. You know, you only have less than two minutes of this exercise specifically left. You gotta push now, okay? Go, go. Oh, that's hard. Almost there. 15 seconds. Come on. Last eight. Whew. One more. Up, up. Little one. Oh, holy. Legs are on fire. Dead bug. Get into position. With or without a ball. In three, two, here we go. Control. See how high the ball is? Should not be touching your stomach. Good. Whoa. This has been really challenging of a workout, for me anyway. I hope it has been for you. Love to hear all your comments below. I know a number of you asked for this power hour. You, I hope you did it with me. You know, we also have a full playlist of all power hours, right? So every power hour that I've ever done is on there. And uh, if so if you like the longer workouts, I would recommend them doing them at least three times a week. Then um, check out the playlist, okay? I'll link it below because I probably won't remember to put it right here as I'm editing this, but I might. You never know. All right, round three. Yo! Here we go. Full complex. I just spit there. That was nice. How do I even have any spit? I feel so dehydrated right now. Dry. Water. I'm drinking the BCAAs right now, which is great for muscle fit synthesis. Not great for quenching the thirst, right? Like I've got the iced tea flavored ones, which I'm digging. But, um, you know, like I, on muscle building days when I'm doing strict weights with not a lot of cardio in between, I really love it then. But right now, I feel like I need to jump in a pool of water and drink a ton of water. This was high cardio for me. I don't know if it was for you or not, but it was definitely a good workout. Look at me tooting my own horn. Good job, Tracy. What a great workout you do. I'm just saying, it was hard for me. I didn't love it. I didn't love most of this. This was horrible. As you heard me say multiple times. But it's the stuff that is hard that changes us, right? Okay, goblet squat. Um, Quentin read me this thing this morning while he was listening to a podcast and on it they were talking about a bamboo tree and how, um, how after five years of watering, nurturing, trimming, taking care, fertilizing a bamboo tree, after five years of growth underground, it can grow up to 90 feet in a very short time, I want to say something like six weeks or something like that. And people were like, oh, it's amazing. Look how much the bamboo tree has grown in such a short time. But really, it took five years and six weeks to grow the tree. It's the same thing with, you know, fitness. You can't just expect to get where you want to go in five weeks. Like look at Quentin, he's exercised for 30 years. 30 years. And people say to him, oh, here's the big guy. But he didn't get big overnight. He's been, he's been practicing, he's been training, he's been cultivating and nurturing his body, treating it well in order to look the way he looks today. 
I think there's a great lesson in that. Okay, cardio. So if you're thinking, why haven't I changed yet? How do I can't see any difference? It's not just six weeks that's gonna see the difference. It's the five years and six weeks of setting up your patterns of behavior, right? Of shifting your mindset to be one that does this on a regular, consistent basis. And when you do that, I think that's when you notice the change. That's when you see the amazing growth. That's when people start commenting, oh my gosh, look what you did. Right? It's hard to talk and do this at the same time. <laughs> that I just learned with this ball. It's gonna be my first one. So stay tuned and see that if you can. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining as always. All right, uh, that is it. All right, taking the ball on the wall. Arms at 90 degrees. Shoulders, elbows slightly under the ball. Okay, you're gonna extend all the way up and stretch that shoulder there. Come down to 90. Stretch and roll, leaning slightly forward to stretch that pectoral minor major muscles there. Oh my gosh, that is a great stretch. Then when you've done that, you can put both hands on the wall. Okay, start at the bottom, press all the way up, stretch through that chest. Right like that, and then repeat with the other side. That is a good one. All right, moving into stretch quickly here. I see my battery flashing again. These power hours, I think my battery lasts for an hour, that's it. And with the stops and the previews, I think I just go slightly over an hour, so it's always like, bah, bah, bah. Abort, charge me. Why do I only have one battery? I don't know. I don't know, I haven't bought another one. Oh my goodness. All right, switch sides. Feel like I'm gonna be sore in the legs tomorrow. Bring that knee together, push your hip forward. Do you like my top? Do you like the, the move? I love it. I think it just says, you know what? It can be a little nasty, like move. I don't like you, move. But that's not how I intend it. It's like move your body. Move daily. Stretch, move, be active, get out there. Moving your life forward, move forward, grow, stretch, change. Bring your heel up, hinge at the waist. That's how I intended it, of course. And, uh, I'm pretty happy with them. Again, the link is gonna be live probably next week. We're just changing the website to make sure, switch legs, that all the sales go well. Last time I put something on a program on my website, um, all of a sudden the PayPal didn't work and I had a virus on my site and everything shut down. And I'm like, I launched this. Oh, it was our Knox Mountain Challenge. I launched it. I had a great photo that kind of went viral in Kelowna. I could have had hundreds of people sign up. Literally, I saw on the analytics, hundreds of people went to my website and no one could sign up that day. Uh, so disappointing. And as if, you know, lots of people just ah, don't remember about that the next time. Let's stretch up. Oh yeah, we did some torso stuff, some twists, so this is a good stretch for that. Anyway, I'm gonna make sure it's all totally perfect before I sell. And if you've seen my other tank top, it says move daily, M-O-V-E-D-A-I-L-Y. 
those will also be for sale as well so oh and right now just shipping to the United States and Canada I'm sorry UK people in Australia and Greece and Germany and Poland and all those other places Taiwan where you guys watch I love that you view and that you're a part of this channel I do appreciate you so much round through the back here I just um, I'm gonna start small because I'm a one-person show I'm basically like wrapping the package <laughs> I've got to start small because I don't want to be overwhelmed and I don't know how much the shipping would be over there so I gotta figure all that out first but anyway we'll start with the the North Americas of the world and see how we go how it goes from there hands behind the back tilt your neck to one side and the other way oh it's really good feels good all right everyone thanks for joining that was a great power hour it was hard but I loved it and I'm sure my body will be thanking me tomorrow as yours will as well okay as always move daily in your fitness wellness nutrition don't forget to comment below what you thought about this workout what you'd like to see more of and I'll see you in the next video